Very active afternoon, dangerous weather out there. Lightning strikes, they let you know on our weather app. Mark, yep. lightning strikes, a big de deal out there tonight. Huge deal. I mean, we've had thousands throughout the course of the day today, and that's why we had a weather aware in place. And we will also have a weather aware for tomorrow as well as into Saturday. Our thunderstorms have been coming through in batches, and some of those have been actually severe. But our live view right now looking towards the west from Birmingham, had a beautiful sunset earlier, but now those towering cumulonimbus are starting to build up on the storms across Tuscaloosa back into Pickens counties. We're down to 74 in Birmingham, dew point 69, feels like 74, and you can see a little lightning off in the distance there. But the storms which moved through Walker back into Winston as well as Coleman counties earlier, that has now shifted all the way down through Jefferson, Shelby, and into Clay counties now. And that's where the uh, batch of storms is moving through at this point. Now you can see there's still a decent amount of lightning, especially around Lineville. You're starting to hear some of the thunder as well, but that section will track towards the south and east, and it will move through good water here in the next minute or two. And then eventually we're looking at Alexander City in 18 minutes, and then Jackson's Gap in about 30. Now this is the new batch of storms that is developing across West Alabama, and I wanted to point out our uh, models had told us we would have thunderstorms, but some that are over 60,000 feet is impressive. Uh, that's a very strong storm. Nothing severe at this point, but there is very heavy rainfall and a lot of mixing up and down. And that's where we start to get the lightning to really in, it ramp up. And that's why we have had so much cloud to ground lightning throughout the day today. I have a track on this first line of storms headed towards Barrie. It will be there in the next two minutes or so. And then Carbon Hill, you'll see this in about 20 minutes, and then eventually Parrish in about 36. Question being here is this will move into an area that was worked over by thunderstorms earlier. So I anticipate that we'll likely start to see a lot of these storms, even back through Lamar as well as Pickens counties, merge together and become more of a thunderstorm rain complex than I would expect it to see a at least a number of severe thunderstorm warnings. Uh, don't rule it out, but certainly a lot of lightning with these, heavy rainfall, gusty winds, and we're looking at Fayette in about 18 minutes, Samantha in about 30 minutes, and that will be for this secondary line, which is now headed into northern Tuscaloosa. Wanted to show you this shot earlier, and this is what is so dangerous this time of the year. This was just south of our station, hitting a home right there, and that was a very powerful stroke of lightning. What we call a positive charge, and that means there's a lot of energy with it. But that's what we'll be dealing with for the rest of this evening. Tomorrow we'll have another round of thunderstorms widespread, and again on Saturday. Now, looking at our storm track future cast for the rest of tonight, the storms wrap up once the energy is used up. A lot of times, once the sun sets, that's what happens. Throughout our day tomorrow, you can see the model data is trying to back off our rain chances here lately. We're going to wait and see if that's a trend, but at this point, I expect we'll see a pretty decent amount of rain coverage Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We back off the rain chances, but the weather awares are for Friday as well as Saturday. And then we start to get hot highs into the mid and upper 90s with only an afternoon shower to cool things off. And we'll certainly be keeping you posted not only here, but also online and WIAT.com and our weather app.